I'm Annie Stores. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I have a huge haul and a try on to share with you. And the reason being is we've got three weddings coming up and I'm super excited. Like the weddings are friends and their family. And after the last horrible 12 months, it's just so nice to actually think about doing normal things and celebrating with people and having like life events again. So I'm really excited. So for the three weddings, I obviously wanted to think about some new outfits because I've not bought anything in such a long time. I think the last time I actually bought myself new clothes was at some point last year. I did do a try on haul at that time, which I will link down below. So it has been a while since I've treated myself and I thought these weddings were a great excuse to do that. So I'll show you what I've got. I've got things from Ted Baker, from John Lewis, from June, from Coast, from Phase 8, from Accessorize. So I kind of really went to town, which, you know, it's fine. And what I've done is I've gone with a very similar colour scheme. So I've gone for navy blue, which is a colour that I love anyway. But I figured then that the shoes, the fascinator, any accessories, could then be used for all of the different outfits. So I thought it was a bit more sort of cost efficient that way. So yeah, I'm excited to show you what I've got. So let's start with the shoes. What I will do is link everything that I bought down below. I got some really good discounts. So if you are looking for anything yourself, then I would definitely recommend the stores that I bought from, especially with the added discount. So firstly, it was from John Lewis. And I wanted some shoes. So um, these are uh, Ted Baker and I paid £48 for these pumps and I wanted to try flats as well as not heels. I don't do very well in heels so I've gone for a wedge but I definitely wanted to try some flats because I think flats are really comfy. You can dance away and yeah I do tend to live in flats. So these should have been £69 but like I say I paid £48 so I'm really happy with that. I think they've come really like nicely packaged like the box is so cute. Um, so let's get these opened up and I'll show you what they look like. So I'll open everything up and then do the try on separately but I'll show you what they look like out of the box and oh my gosh these are so cute. So they've got the very typical Ted Baker floral pattern and they have a cute bow on the front and they are just like little ballerina pumps. So I have big feet, I wear a size 7 and I know sometimes pumps can be like, look like you've got flippers on the end of your feet because, you know, big feet and all. But I think these are so cute. So I've definitely got an outfit in mind that I think these will be perfect for but we'll try on at the end and see what we think. So next up is the shoes that I bought from June and like I say I don't really do heels but wedges I think usually tend to be fine provided they're not like super high. So I bought these from the Roberto Viani range. These should have been £45 but I paid £22. £22! I was really really impressed with that. So this is what they look like. So I've just gone for a nude because I thought with the navy like nude is is a good like color to offset against the navy and not have everything too matchy matchy it does have a little snake skin design at the front here which pete my husband wasn't so keen on but i think they're really cute like they're not too high i think they should be quite comfortable i quite like having extra support especially when i'm wearing heels i want to know that i'm not going to come like flying off and break my ankle so I think these are really cute and again I think two of the outfits I bought these would probably be perfect for. So on to the accessories which I bought from Accessorize of course. Now I think these were the only items that I didn't actually get for a discounted rate but I thought the price was really reasonable anyway so I was less bothered. So firstly a new handbag. So this is just in a navy like a satin with a bit of a gold detail there which is really cute. So this was priced at £18 which again I thought was really reasonable. It does have a strap. Take out the paper. So 
so you could either have it as like a clutch bag or over your shoulder so yeah I thought this was really cute and um yeah quite multi-purpose and um, it's always good to have a strap if you're kind of done holding it for the day and you can just chuck it over your shoulder so yeah good size for everything that I'll be wanting to carry so really happy with that and then I did buy a fascinator so if you've seen any of my previous videos you'll know that I have a huge penchant for usually Mickey Mouse shaped headwear so I'm quite happy to wear like hats or headbands and things and for the weddings I've previously been to, I've never worn a fascinator before, um, but I figure that the weddings I'm going to, they're a little bit more formal, so therefore it would be perfect. And again, I've gone with a navy colour, and this was priced at £30, and it is just on a headband, so, you know, not going to have to struggle trying to clip anything in or attach it to my hair, and I could do both up and down styles with this I think so it's just got like a cute flower in like the toil it's quite like stiff so I don't think it's going to like flop over so I think this is perfect and quite easy to wear like I say just on a headband so just really easy to kind of throw on to complete the outfit so for the first outfit choice I already own a white and navy polka dot uh, like 50 style circle skirt which I have never found the occasion to wear it was from Bowdoin I think I picked it up for about 50 pounds in their sale and therefore I was really looking to, for something that I could use to complement that skirt so I found this top in phase 8 which should have been 79 pounds but I picked up for 55 and it's just like a lace like cropped top it does have um because it's like quite sheer because of the lace it does have a vest top underneath and I figured that the circle skirts that I wear are usually quite high-waisted like I never want to show my belly so I'm hoping that with a high-waisted skirt this will kind of just skim the top and, and not show anything that I don't want to I have ordered this in a size 12 um but I've not tried it on so I don't know whether or not it will fit. Um, over lockdown I have lost some weight so all of the outfits that I've bought today are in a size 12 so fingers crossed that they do fit. And then on the back it's just got these, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's just got these cute like decorative covered buttons which I think will be really nice. So I'm going to try that with the um, circle skirt and that's where I think the pumps will go really nicely but we'll try it on for you at the end. and see if it's the kind of outfit that I've got in my head if it actually translates and, and looks like what I want it to do. So on to the first dress. Now this one was from Coast. It should have been £89 but I paid £66.75 so a bit of a random amount but it was because of the discount. So let me just find the top of it. Um, right that's the back. So it's in navy. It is it looks a bit of a mess here holding it up but it's got like ruffly type sleeves and the ruffles go all the way through the sort of bodice and through the skirt and it's sort of like a mid-length and again in that navy it's like sheer at the top um, and it's got like a cute little waist detail around there so I'm looking forward to trying this on and hoping it Fits. it's got some really cute like detail on it so yeah let's see if it's as good as what it looks like on the photo hmm just coming back to the coast dress because just after I finished filming I noticed that the little button on the back of it has actually popped off and it's literally just was attached here I don't know if you can see um, just by like the tiniest thread so I can definitely like sew it back on but that's not great quality from coast there like I have bought some pieces from coast before and you know it is a little bit more pricey um, but it's usually because the quality is quite good so missing button not ideal so this final dress is the one I'm most excited about and it's from Ted Baker and I love Ted Baker, I do own a few pieces from there but it is of course like super expensive but usually really good quality and a really good fit. 
So this dress should have been £199, which I have to admit, I would actually never spend that on a dress, not for like one item of clothing, it's just too much, and I don't think I'd get the use of it. However, because of the sale that they had on and the additional discount, I paid £95.20, which I am far happier with. So, let me just open it up for you. So again, this is a midi style dress, and again in the navy it's got a cute like waistband detail it's almost like a wrap dress but kind of not quite so it does have the detail across the front and it has pleats in it so asymmetrical like pleats as it goes down and this as well as the sort of ruffles from coast are the only things that I'm a bit worried about because I do think Adding extra detail to dresses and things when you're not like super skinny, I think it, it might add a bit more bulk. Um, so I guess we'll just have to try it on and see what it looks like. Um, because obviously on the models that you see, they're always like super tiny. And of course anything's going to look good on them. So let's see what it looks like with somebody who's kind of got boobs and hips and, and if it looks as sort of expected. It does have a zip detail on the back and again the pleats run all the way through and it's like a crepe fabric I think that's what it feels like so yeah most excited for this one and yeah let me return with the try on I would love to hear your comments if you've got any feedback let me know what you think but yeah let's see how we get on. So here we are with outfit number one and I absolutely love it. So it's exactly as I imagined it would look. So because the skirt is high waisted, it's not showing anything that I don't want to show. The skirt is fantastic, it's also got pockets in it which obviously as any woman knows <laughs> is usually lacking but great when they're there. I've got the Ted Baker pumps which I think look really cute with this outfit. They're really comfy actually and I'm I can be a bit funny with shoes but so far they feel really comfy. Of course the bag and the fascinator so absolutely love this outfit, definitely a keeper. So here we have the close up of the first outfit and I don't know if you can see the detail of the lace in the top but it's absolutely gorgeous and then it's just got like a tiny little cami underneath. And then with the skirt and then with the pumps so yes love this one really really love it so here we are with outfit number two and this is the dress from coast so the one with the sort of ruffles on it and the ruffles go down throughout the skirt as well and again i really like this one so i put this on with the wedges because i think it needed a heel and I, yeah i really like it i mean the wedges are really comfortable actually so hopefully that's not a problem but yeah, I really like this one as well. I think it fits really nicely. Like I say, I have lost weight. So again, ordering things and not really knowing my size, I was a bit dubious as to um, what sizes would fit, but this is absolutely perfect. So yes, also a keeper, I think. So I just thought I'd do a close up to show you the detail of this dress and um, what you can see. So we've got the ruffles here. They go all the way through like the skirt itself. It is mid-length, so it just stops just, you know, at like a nice shin length. And then the shoes themselves, which I think are really cute. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. I think it's really nice. And yeah, I'm just glad that it fits and is doing kind of what I want it to do for the outfit. So yes, very happy. So here is the third and final dress and this is the one from Ted Baker and I absolutely love it. I think it fits really well. I don't think these pleats in the skirt add anything like more than what I've already owned and I just really like it. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I feel really nice in it as well which I think when you actually buy something that you feel good in it's definitely a keeper so again let me do a close-up so you can see some of the detail so here is the close-up of the Ted Baker and it's stunning I absolutely love it I just love like the details in it I think it's really cute it's not too like booby which can be a concern I think the only thing I would say though is it the fabric gapes slightly here so A, I will slightly need a different bra with it because this one you can see 
and but it's giving me a, like a funny like you can see it so I don't know if that's it feels like when they've sewed the fabric it's stretched it out slightly because that's now going back in so I wonder if I can just adjust it slightly I might ask my mom to have a look and do some sewing or maybe like write to Ted Baker and just see if that's right or if it's like a fault in the dress but aside from that I absolutely love it I just think it fits really nicely and I feel really really good in it so yeah so I try and haul where everything fits I'm honestly like over the moon and I genuinely like love the outfits that I've got so Thanks again for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.